Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I'm gonna go over a few of the most frequently asked questions that I get behind the chair here as a hairstylist in Fresno, California, so stay tuned. First, I wanna talk about color consultations. A color consultation is a consultation before your color appointment, whether it is a day or two or a week or two before your appointment. It's super essential for both of us, for me as the hairstylist, but also for you as the client. It ensures that we're both on the same page as far as what you're looking for and what we can expect. So expectation versus reality, which I have a video on that very subject that you can go ahead and click on. I'll put it somewhere up here for you if you wanna go ahead and watch that. But consultations are super essential to my process because that's where I get to really know you as far as your color history. Color history and hair history are really, really important. So that is why we ask a ton of questions. Essentially what a color consultation does for both of us is it gives us a game plan. It gives us time to actually analyze what's going on with your hair and make a plan. Now you can tell by my other videos or if you have me on social media, healthy hair is number one for me. I do not believe in pushing your hair further than it can go. I don't believe in causing unnecessary damage. So I am that cautious hairstylist that is gonna do whatever I can to ensure the integrity of your hair. Now, if our consultation goes well, we will make a game plan and we will move forward with that game plan. You feel comfortable, I feel comfortable, we both feel good about moving forward with our game plan, then we schedule an appointment. Now, during the consultation, I will ask you, what kind of maintenance would you like? And maintenance just means your frequency of visits, touch-ups, refreshers, toners, things like that, and your lifestyle. Are you washing your hair every day? Do you use heat tools every day? It does make a difference with your color. Also washing your hair every day and what you're using to wash your hair every day at home is also a big factor. When I talk about maintenance, there's high maintenance, medium maintenance, and low maintenance. So let's start with low maintenance first. Low maintenance could be anything from one color all over and you just get root touch-ups to a partial balayage, a full head of balayage, anything that you can wait a little bit longer between your visits to me is considered low maintenance. So balayage is perfect for that because it's not typically going all the way up to the root. So when you do have some outgrowth, it's not a harsh line. you can get away with not getting a touch up for a while. I have some balayage clients that I only see once or twice a year and it's perfect for their lifestyle and for their maintenance that they're willing to put in. If you are a low maintenance person, I will make sure that you are aware of what you should be using at home. Again, totally your choice, but I am gonna give you those recommendations so that your color lasts longer and looks better as long as possible, especially if I know that you're not that person that's gonna come in really frequently. I wanna make sure that you are set up for success at home. Now, medium maintenance, you can kind of play around. There's a big, big playing field with medium maintenance. We can do highlights, we can do a highlight and balayage combo. We can do um, a nice super melty shadow root. There's a lot of buzzwords that I could kind of throw at you right now. But for medium maintenance, really what you need to know is you will be coming in for touch-ups, toners. Also, I will recommend products for you to take home to make sure that your highlights or your balayage or whatever the color combination is that we're doing looks as good as it can look while you're not in my chair. The whole point is for your life to be easier knowing that you've picked something that fits in with your lifestyle. So if you are high maintenance and you're okay being high maintenance, then yeah, we can talk about a full head of lightener. We can talk about a full head of baby lights. We can talk about a full head of highlights that are way up to the root with no shadow root. We can talk about those kind of projects, those kind of color projects, I kind of like to call them. Because you're willing to come in every four weeks. You're willing to purchase the hair products that I recommend to you. You're willing to come in for treatments in between your touch-ups. I will be seeing you a lot, pretty much every four weeks, if not sooner. So what I also like to do with my high maintenance clients is really talk to them about budget. We're all on a budget. Everyone 
is feeling it across the board. So I try to provide options. So if you really love the way that something looks, but it isn't necessarily in your budget, then that's my job and that's my cue to offer you different options. But in order to do that, we have to have that conversation. We have to have that consultation. So that's my little breakdown of high maintenance, medium maintenance, and lower maintenance. One is not better than the other. They're all, they're all pretty practical for different times in your life. We can work on that together and talk about that during the consultation. That's huge. That's why I do consultations and I actually have made it a priority to have a color consultation with every single new client that I have. Yeah, we can sort of kind of do it in text, but it's not the same. I kind of need to see you face to face so that we can actually have that conversation. I can touch your hair, I can feel your hair, I can look at what's going on, we can do a test strand. A test strand just means that I take a section in the back of your head, put lightener on it, and actually see what's going on. Any box color that you've used will show up any henna that you used will show up. We're kind of jumping off of consultations, I want to kind of talk about platinums, silvers, and pastels. Now, for your hair to be platinum, pastel, or silver, we, the hairstylists, need to make sure that we can lift or lighten your hair to a pale yellow. That's not a preference, it's non-negotiable, it is a requirement. So if I really want your hair to be silver, I have to be confident enough that your hair can withstand the lightener that it's gonna take to get you up to that pale yellow. Now once we're at a pale yellow, that's where we can deposit the gray, the silver, the, the pastel, the platinum, whatever it is. I love sessions. I love going one session at a time because it keeps you in the chair for a shorter amount of time each visit and we're giving your hair a break in between each lightning service. So again, like I said, I'm not that person that's gonna push your hair too far the first time that we lighten it. I am that person that is gonna recommend sessions. Now I understand we all want an easy button. I mean, it would be awesome if there was just like a magic wand that I could use. Unfortunately, we're not there yet. I don't know when, when or if that's ever gonna happen. So me personally, my philosophy is low and slow. And what I mean by that is we're gonna gradually get you to where you need to be. Not only because it takes a long time in one shot, if we are gonna try to do it all in one day, that's a long day for you and it's a long day for me, but also you need those breaks in between going lighter. So every time we do a session, I am gonna recommend to you, again, recommend products to take home. And that's for your protection as well. That is for you to be able to take care of that color in the meantime until you can come back for your next session. Now, I'm gonna recommend treatments, I'm gonna recommend deep conditioners, I'm gonna recommend things that are gonna help your hair stay healthy on our journey. Also, put products into that budget because those products are gonna help the longevity of that color. It's gonna help the color to look even better when you're doing your hair at home. I get asked about color corrections a lot and a lot of people don't understand what constitutes a color correction versus any other color appointment. For me, and this is just me, everybody's different, but for me, a color correction means that it's gonna be more than two color formulations to address what the issues are. Old color, whether it's box or professional, grays, if you have grays, and then your natural color that you want modified. So that's three right there. It's really easy to assume that, oh, just throw some highlights in, but it, let's be real, okay? If you have two inches of grays, you have 50 to 60% gray on your roots, right? And then the rest is old color. If I just go in and do a regular set of highlights and just slap the lightener on without thinking, you're gonna have one result on those grays, on those roots, and then you're gonna have a different result on that color that's been sitting in the hair, right? So those are not gonna match up. Now, as a hairstylist, I would have to go back in and figure out, okay, do I modify the root or do I modify the rest of the canvas, if you will, that has that old color in it. Those are the things that we have to figure out 
When we're mixing in the back, those are the things that we're thinking about, is how we're gonna address multiple scenarios. So we may have to remove color, we may have to deposit color, we may have to lighten, we may have to do all of the above. Now, depending on what your desired outcome is, it may not be a full color correction, depending on what you want. Now, if you just wanna be one color all over, then that might fall into a different category where it's not a full-blown color correction. If it's not more than two different formulations, then I may say, oh, then we can just do that with a balayage, or oh, we can just do that with two different colors, one for your grays and one for the rest of your hair, and we're done. It could be as easy as that, Again, it just depends on what the end result that you're looking for looks like. If you have any questions that you would like answered, please put them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. And don't forget to share, like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that stuff helps and I truly do appreciate it. And after you subscribe, go ahead and hit the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video.